This is a uh, um, a ASG manual press, MEP-60 six-ton electric press. Uh, it's really a, well, ASG got bought out by TE Connectivity, so now they rebranded this as a TE Connectivity MEP-6 T. It's in their catalog. Um, this came out of a uh, automotive plant, and uh, they were shutting it down. Actually, using that plant as a storage for trucks at the moment. I just read an article about it. But uh, this unit itself is in pretty nice shape. It's got uh, air input in the side, uh, temporary wired up. I just have uh, it's uh, 233 phase. We just have some temporary cables coming in here. It should have been in conduit, but it's not at the moment. Um, let me flip this open. Let you see in here. You got a computer. Uh, it looks like a processor, some contactors and switches and such. And close that up. Um, should be noted, I'm not sure this helps, but the bypass switch is on. But all this is electronic, and I'll explain more to you after I turn this on. So I'm going to click this on. Oh. It's got to, you got to push it down to turn. See the light comes on. And we'll come around here. And we'll watch the touch screen here. Because uh, nothing else really happens. It is a Core 2 Duo. Uh, Windows 7 computer. Oh, didn't shut it down right. Come on. Huh, won't let me do anything. 12 seconds. Sorry. 12 seconds of boringness. Uh, I will show you uh, a couple of things. It's got two emergency stop switches. Oh, well, there's just windows starting. Uh, these are uh, sensors. You can see. You put your hand in front of it. That's the sensor. That's the receiver. Okay, so let's get into the program, and I'll tell you what's going on here. Oh, it's also got uh, it's also got two sensors here. So I just noticed that all that stuff on the screen. We'll watch the. Okay, so from what I read in the manual, you see how it says no board here, and then it says no operator. So normally, uh, and again, this is a touchscreen, so I can just click on operator. So if you hit admin user, it's going to ask you for a pin. And, you know, they first, uh, TA, TA Connectivity told me it was 0, 0, 0, 0. And I hit OK. It tells me invalid pin. And then this light over here flashes. I hit OK. Uh, we'll try default user. What? 1, 2, 3, 4. I've tried this, and it gives me the same invalid pin. One, two, three, four. Uh, everything I've tried, I can't figure out how to change this. So if I could get into an admin user, I could set up the parameters. And then, so that's why this is right here, because every time you set a new user up, you got to tell it what boards are in here. And then this would say the boards, and then you'd have the operator, and the whole thing would be set up, and you could change the parameters. I unfortunately can't do that uh, until I get this software. I was going to try to reinstall this and see if I could get it a fresh install, but uh, the uh, GM decided that uh, they would have their own pin. Um, so this thing, his last uh, sticker was uh, 2019, which is probably about when they shut down that plant. And then, you know, they have these checklists of going through it and whatever. Um, so what I figured out thus far, so this I thought was the bypass, but doesn't do anything there's a foot switch that's air operated which also won't let it do um, if you touch these lays if you touch the sensors like this those come on and like I said this works um, I mean I haven't tried uh, that doesn't do anything it's on bypass I'm I'm not sure what else to do I can't show you it working because I can't get beyond this software. Uh, keyboard tray here. 
Uh, like I said, foot switch, it's on casters. Um, I don't know if any of this, I think this might be what they were using for presses or something to that effect. This to me looks like a template for something, uh, as do these. Uh, this says whatever. Uh, this looks like a CNC piece, probably fits on the bottom of the press. Not sure if that's what it does. Uh, this looks like the same kind of a setup here. Maybe that sits on the press or under the press and to help do that. There's another one over there. Um, but, uh, you know, that's the unit. I, I did try... Uh, they won't let me do it now. You can uh, kind of stop the program from starting, and I, I was going to try that in a little bit and see if I get into the main screen there, but uh, I just wanted to get this kind of up and going because I've messed with this thing for a few days and I didn't notice all those files on the screen or on the, uh, on the uh, opening screen there. Uh, USB input. Uh, it's electrical output. <sighs> glass on the back, glass on the side. Like I said, there was that switch on the side. Here is a compressed air inlet valve. Uh, it's got a gauge up here, or up around 130 PSI, according to that. But uh, that's the unit. Um, you know, the this thing is also up and up in here. I took a picture of it, and I don't really want to take this back apart. But there's a servo control that actually controls this. You know, beyond the press part of this, and I would figure this would manually actuate it. But I have this feeling that without that software setup, it won't do anything. Um, so if you know more about this machine than I do and you know what I'm doing wrong or don't know what I'm doing wrong and you want to tell me anything else about it, let me know. Otherwise, uh, thank you. Oh, you know what? I should have mounted, this is an ELO uh, touchscreen. I don't know if that matters or not, but that's what it is. Definitely also gonna have to be truck shipped um, thank you.